We begin with a developing story that we've been tracking all morning for you. Students at Fort Bend ISD may have to continue online classes longer than originally thought. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. The school district's board of trustees have approved making that a reality, but the change still has to be approved by the state. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers is live at district headquarters in Sugarland with more. Brittany? Yeah, this is certainly just a first step in the process, but the district said that this would essentially give them some more time to allow to phase in students for face-to-face -face instruction if that's what families had opted to do. We're doing online learning right now, but eventually um, something has to change. Tramel Kakoy's daughter is a seventh grader in Fort Bend ISD, and so far, virtual learning has been a challenge. Other parents like Cal Adams say he's opted out of the district entirely. Instead, he's homeschooling his five and six year old. It was a little bit easier to break down, and it was a little less pressure on them to be on like Zoom all day. Uh, so now we've created a entirely different schedule for them. Now there's even more changes. Fort Bend ISD trustees voted to ask the TEA for a four week extension for online learning, which would allow more time to phase in face to face learning if that's what students select. Beginning September 28th, elementary students will begin in person learning, followed by a secondary phase, which includes middle and high school students. By October 12th, all students will be phased in for in person or virtual learning. Superintendent Dr. Charles Dupont. Pree says this new approach will keep safety in mind during the transition from online learning, especially for younger students. They need to learn how to be in a school and be with others and interact. And now it's going to have to be with masks during a pandemic. But they also need to understand the health and safety protocols. And they're going to need more time. As for Kakoi, she says her daughter will go back for in-person learning as soon as she can. I need her to go back to school. I need her to get that social interaction. I mean, it's very important for little ones. So taking a look at the next step here, uh, parents will now be able to decide if they want to continue with that online learning or if they instead want to go with the face to face option. Now the district says that parents have until next Tuesday to make that decision. Live at Fort Bend ISD headquarters, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.